trout here in South Padre Island. Beautiful speckled trout using that K Wigglers. Beautiful healthy trout. <laughs> Quick release. Um, we just got out of here. That was probably my fifth cast. So we're gonna be fishing uh, on a drift and uh, let's see if we can continue getting on uh, some fish. On, num up. on number two, looks like a better trout. Yeah, a lot better trout. Broken. Another beautiful healthy trout. Too small, but good catch. There it goes. Quick release. That was a uh, another. That was about the fifth uh, trout we've caught today. And uh, they haven't, I don't know, it's probably because he had more of the lure than he had the jig head, but I should have just flipped them in, but there's plenty of more. We're working this drift. It's about three, 3.2 feet. And um, what I'm doing is just tossing it as far as I can, pop a couple pops here and there. And usually on the, on the drop is where we get our bites. And then uh, you just gotta have your drag ready and hooks it. But um, I'm gonna swap off my lure and uh, let's see if we can get on some more fish. Might be a big shot. here in South Padre Island you got that that K wiggler you're gonna take out the hook measure him up and if not he goes right back into the water he was ready to go And I'm using a, a DOA uh, the cal. They're the uh, small three inch in a uh, Texas croaker color with a one fourth ounce. I wanted I want to make sure it goes to the bottom. I was watching a video with uh, Captain Brian Barrera, and uh, he was using a one ounce. On these little guys and I was like whoa I mean that's, that's a, you know that's too much but the guy was was producing the guy was doing real good uh, Captain Brian Barrero did excellent and so I said if 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 a one ouncer will work then for the depth that we're that we're fishing today uh, this this should also work out oh he's got a couple of spots on him no I don't think he's gonna make it It'll probably barely be about 19. Captain Brian Barrera was fishing with uh, Blair Wiggins over at the Brownsville Channel uh, a couple years back on a video and he was using the Texas Croaker. And this is a three inch uh, swim, uh, swim bait, a little paddle tail. And uh, I've got it on a one fourth ounce. Did real good. Uh, 19 inch. We're going to release it. Another score. Change spots. We came with a different approach, used a different color, and another trout once again. Beautiful coloration on this trout, and um, too small but really good for the future. And uh, we're gonna get him back in the water. There he goes. I switched up to the plum, 
plum color in the K Wigglers and uh, just been throwing it out to these potholes and we've been having some really good success so hopefully we can get on a redfish or something like that and we'll get back to you. Edward's hooked up again using that top water. The one knock in the bone color. That one knocker really nicely so um, I believe that's a spook junior if I'm not mistaken but and um, beautiful pink coloration on her or him he is a smaller guy so we'll get him on his way okay. very nice I got another redfish on the top water fighting a That's three or four of the, on the day uh, on top water, and that's pretty awesome. He had some redfish on top water, so I get this, un this guy unhooked because I don't want to get a hook in my finger. So. Hey guys, I want to show you something real quick. Look at this guy's tail, pretty, pretty, pretty gnarly. He either has been on the on the bottom or um, something tried to get him, but that's crazy. But I'm using this top wire, just top, throwing it out there and uh, giving it a couple twitches, constant twitching. And uh, these guys seem to love it. So right, we'll we'll keep on getting some of this guy. Hard battle for a little guy like this. So if you want to revive him, there he goes. Fish, another one on the top water on the Spook Junior. I was saying the one knocker, but it's Spook Junior. And uh, beautiful fish. We're gonna get a measurement on her and uh, see what we do. With it. These reds hit super hard and they fight super hard, so it's always fun catching them.